that's really cool. I d distinctly heard a scream. But I feel like this spirit right now is challenging me, so what are you going to do if I don't go? Die. I did hear like clicking. And now this is when we're hearing all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And it was right when we started doing the spirit dance. What's up ghosties? Welcome to a brand new video. I'm back at Hell's Gate for another investigation, but this time it's going to be at night. A full investigation at night. I think things are going to get crazy. You guys know this is a super haunted area. Tons of paranormal activity happens around here. Behind these bushes is the ruins of the house that burnt down. It has an incredibly creepy story to go along with it. And off in the distance we have the Cleveland National Forest which is known to be a paranormal hot spot. People have seen Bigfoot, Black Eyed Kids, UFOs, you name it, it's out here. Now I do have a new friend and investigator out here with me tonight. Her name is Jade. She's from Ghost Club Paranormal. You guys are going to love her channel. I'll leave the links down below and you'll meet her in just a minute. I just love this area so much. I don't know why. I just feel drawn to it. I feel like there's a lot of energy here. I feel like every time I come here, did you just hear that moving in the bushes? There's a bird, <laughs> scared the crap out of me. But as I was saying, every time I'm here, I feel like I catch something unique, something incredible. That being said, let's go back over there so I can introduce you guys to Jade. All right, as I was saying, here is Jade from Ghost Club Paranormal. Hello. Out investigating for, <laughs> with me for the first time. Excited. Hell's Gate, your first time being here. My first time being here. This place is creepy. First off. Second off, I have a feeling that something is going to go down tonight, I swear to God. I, I think so. <laughs> I think you're right. Um, another scary thing in this area to watch out for that's not necessarily paranormal is mountain lions and rattlesnakes and tarantulas so you know what i'm already ahead of you, <laughs> you got the knife. <laughs> this is my knife i got my taser in my back pocket so hopefully um we should ward off for something. every spooky investigation you need a very spooky knife i know <laughs> all right you guys are gonna have to be patient for a little bit because it looks like we might have some company but um for those of you that don't know the legend i know i have some like new um followers the legend of this area is that there was a house here. Um, a nanny was babysitting two children. For whatever reason, she got possessed by the devil, locked herself and the kids inside, and burnt the house down. So that's why this area is kind of haunted. Now, that is a legend. I haven't really found any proof to it. Um, some people will say it was just a regular fire that burnt the house down. But, I mean, the legend makes it more spooky, right? We're going to see if we can get the... The K2 to spike while we're down in here. If there's anything here other than me and Michael, can you please make that device light up? You've done it before. You can use my energy, you can use Michael's energy, you can use the camera's energy. If there's something negative in this area, can you make yourself known by lighting up those, the box that's on the ground? Make it go from green to red. So what we're going to do, we're going to try to like introduce a trigger object in case there are any kids around here. Uh, maybe they'll be more inclined to come closer um, to the K2 meter if we put something a little more kid friendly next to it. I'm gonna put this here and this is for you to keep, okay? If you wanna touch this at all, go ahead, feel free. It's yours now. I'll be leaving it here for you. If you're around this object, can you make this light up please? You don't have to be shy. You can take it. Just come on over and grab that dog. Just 
down in the basement with a K2, but I heard something moving out here. It sounded very distinct like a footstep. Oh, you just got a couple spikes. Did you? I think whatever was making this light up earlier is not a kid. I'm just going to no. put that out there. I know. Every time I've come here, I've never felt a, like, child energy. It's always been either an adult energy or something just kind of negative. Yeah, like I'm not getting the kid vibe right now at all. Grab my spirit box because we're going to um, introduce that into the mix down in the basement and see if we get anything with it. Mm -hmm. Definitely not feeling a kid energy. It's more of an adult, darker. Do you have a name? Do you know where you are? Is this hell to you? Was there a house that used to be here? Did you burn down this house? Can you say my name? Something. Okay, that was a motorcycle like, coming from behind. I swear to God, I thought that was a gravel for a second, uh, but something came through the exact same second. That's why yeah. I freaked out. Yeah. I'm gonna have to like review that because yeah. that threw me off. It sounded like something. I couldn't make it out, but can you say her name? Her name is Jade. Now's your time to communicate. There's people here that want to talk to you. Hello, did you hear it? Like, yeah. It sounded like a hello. Yeah, I definitely heard it. Whoa, whoa, that was like a guy. Yeah. Whoa. I'm We're going to set up a um, Ouija board session right here, and now we've encountered a black widow. So that's really cool. Definitely something you want to stay away from. Oh, and it's gone. Whoa. It took off. Oh, where the hell did that go? Oh, shit. Okay, so we're getting ready to film a Ouija board session over on Jade's channel. I'm not going to have it here. You're going to have to go over to her channel to check it out and see if we communicate with anything in this area. Chances are good because it's it's a negative atmosphere around here, but definitely go to her channel, see what we caught with the Ouija board session. We're gonna try and use the spirit dice and see what communication we get. I haven't used them in a while. While using the Ouija board, we were hearing a lot of movement, especially um, over in the bush. We kept hearing something move, which could be wildlife, but we're also hearing something down in the pit area, which sounded more like rocks moving or, you know that, you know how it sounds like when you step on a rock and it tilts and makes a noise? Um, so we're going to try the spirit dice and see if we can get any answers through that. Could you spell out your name for us, please? There's a D-I-E, die. That is so funny that you said that because from my angle I see D I and then I, that was the first thing I saw. Die. Yeah. Oh, that's an O. Never mind. My eyeballs are tricking me, but well, at least that one's a D. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know why that was the first thing that came to my head though. I kinda saw it, but I didn't see it. Yeah. Is there something bad here? Yes or no, please. Well, anything that I can see. I'm gonna ask 
ask you again. Are you bad? Are you good? If you're good, can you let us know? I see the word fear. I see that fear. Yep, F that's exactly what I was thinking. And they're spelled out right in the middle. And you know what's interesting is when it also spelled out yeah, it's these middle ones. Yeah. It's weird that it's spelled out fear because when we were doing the Ouija board session on Jade's channel, we heard something in the in the bush, or I don't remember if it was the bush or if it was down here, but we heard something move, and it was almost like whatever it was that was communicating got scared and left and spelled out goodbye right away. So is it telling us That's a really good that connection. it's afraid? I didn't think about that, but that is actually a good connection. Are you afraid to communicate? Is there a spirit here that you're afraid of? It says no. And no. Maybe they're just a shy? Maybe they're Maybe they're afraid of us. Are you afraid of us? something here that wants to communicate with us. Spell out yes or no with the dice. Can you say hello? So it's hi. Look at that. Yeah. It's spelled out hi. Sorry, I'm just like, a, is that, a, yeah, that was an H yeah. from my, from my perspective. this here too. Said hi, H and I when we said hello. And it's so weird because you look at it and it's literally, it's just like facing yeah. towards you. Okay, since the planchette rolled, um, didn't roll, pointed at me, are you here? Do you want to talk to me? thing that I'm getting out of this is miss. I saw that too. That's, Did you see that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. M-I-S-S. -S. Yeah. M and then I, S and then S. I don't know why but if that was the only other thing that you were getting out of as well that's pretty yeah. strong. Miss. Oh. Are you somebody that I know personally? You. I don't know what that means though. I just, uh, the first thing I saw was you. Is it somebody that I know personally? You. We're actually getting some really good responses with the spirit dice. Um, spelled out a couple things for us, spelled out hi. One of the methods that I use that always just kind of blows me away because a lot of times when you use it, the the letters that it's or the words that it's spelling will just be right in front of you. That is one thing that I noticed. Like it's just like I like the U I saw right away, mm -hmm. the high I saw right away. That roll that you done where it was like facing towards you. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Your coyotes, but I did hear like clicking. I heard it 
the, yeah, and I just heard it again. I'm gonna go around and look down that pathway. The Black Widow's still there? Probably. It's still there, you guys. Last time I tried to film it, it totally took off on me. Look at that. Oh my god. Oop, there it's going somewhere. I don't know where it's going. It's definitely a Black Widow. We're playing with fire. Did you hear something? Yeah. What's that screaming? I heard that too. Did you hear something? Yeah. What's that screaming? I heard that too. I d distinctly heard a scream. It was definitely a scream. And the black widow's gone again. That's creepy, that scream. I really hope my camera picked it up. I, I think it will. But like Jade just said, like there was stuff coming from behind us and then a scream coming from the other way. Just like almost surrounding. Did you? you? Hear that? Did you hear that? From where? Somebody just said my name. You heard your name? Yeah. Coming from what? what? Like here, like literally where we're doing this stuff. I heard a little girl. Okay, no, now things are happening. I swear to God, I heard a little girl just go, shit, like that. Freaks me out, that gives me chills. Roll the dice, ask if, oh, ask if something said your name. There's somebody trying to get my attention. Was that you that whispered my name over here? Die. Die, right in the middle. Right in the middle, first thing I saw. And also, yeah, why? <sighs> yeah, die. Duh. This, okay, can I tell you my whole thoughts on this right now? Yeah. When we done the Ouija board session, mm -hmm. it it sounded like there was like a friendly kind of kids coming through. Um, just, hold on, I just heard something from the right end again. Okay, sorry. What was it? Well, I was just gonna say, like, I feel like when we were doing the Ouija board, it was like a friendly kind of kid spirit coming through. And even I said, like, no, I really did feel like it was, you know, a kid. Like, and mm -hmm. you said maybe something demonic. And then when it said goodbye, our thoughts on that was because something was coming because we heard the noise. Mm -hmm. um, I, I actually think that I believe your theory on it, though. Now, now that it spelled out that. Yeah. And it's like almost playing with you, like saying your name and then spelling that out for that. Whoa. Mm -hmm. I mean, that just sounded like fireworks, though. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Should I roll again? Roll it again, see if. Okay. Ask it if it means harm. Do you mean any harm to me? thing that I see it's spelled out as go G O G. 
Which would really make sense because everything going on right now, like how long have we been here? We've been mm -hmm. here, we've definitely been here, sorry we're both doing this. <laughs> we've definitely been here for the past few hours, couple hours mm -hmm. now. Well, we got here at like six, it's nine, so three hours. And it's been dark for a while. Yeah. And now this is when we're here and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And it was right when we started doing the spirit dice. It's like, it, I'm telling you, the this area especially, as soon as it gets dark, the energy, it just shifts, it changes. Now I got like goosebumps. I'm doing it again. I'm not one to provoke spirits. <laughs> I'm really not. But I feel like this spirit right now is challenging me, so what are you going to do if I don't go? Die. D-I-E. You keep saying it. D-I-E. This ex... This is... Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't keep rolling the dice. Yeah, maybe we should. Go. <laughs> I know apps are really controversial. My my judgment on them is I still don't know if I fully rely on them at all, but I like to try all different types of methods while I'm out here. That's why we use Ouija boards, we use spirit dice, we use spirit boxes, we use the K2. Um, so if we end up getting some of the same answers through all different devices, then you kind of can gather that you are talking to something. So. If I turn on the Necrophonic app and we're starting to get the same answers as we are with the dice, then, you know, maybe there is some credibility behind the app. Die. Whoa! Did you hear that right away? Yes. Right away. Yes. Yes. It said it right away. That was... That's the first thing that came through. That was demonic sounding. Are you the same spirit that was talking to us before? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. Who is talking to us? I thought I heard fool. Are you evil? Oh, I don't like that. I just... Yeah, did you hear that? Yep. Can you say one of our names? Maybe we see that. just freaking out like I've never felt like this like heavy in a very very long time. I know I have goosebumps. Can you say her name? Can you say Jade? Jade. <gasps> oh my god that copied me afterwards. Like it gasped as well the second we gasped. It came. Oh that was clear. Okay. Did it just say it again? I just have chills all over my body. This is more than chills. Can you say Jade again? I don't want it to say Jade again. <laughs> I don't want it to say Jade again. Same, same Michael. <laughs> Say my name, say Michael. Mike, did you yeah. hear it? That was a female coming through. It sounded like my voice, didn't it? This is getting too weird. Like it's mimicking us. What was that? Who are you? I heard you. You. I heard a female again saying you.
Are you evil? I thought it said evil. Whatever coming. Smell you? Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh, that was That's... a horrible noise. That one gave me anxiety. Can you? I need to charge. I need to change the batteries in this light as well. Did something bad happen here? Go. Go. Yeah. It said go to us earlier too. All we have literally been getting through this is die, you, and go. Yeah. Fuck you. Did you hear that? Whatever was here before, I... F oh my god, what I the hear fuck something. is that? I, I just heard something flashlight. running. Yeah. Because my light's about to die on this. It literally sounded like somebody running through those bushes. Come here. Can you see that? The white thing? Your camera will pick it up better than mine. Can you see that? Where is it? White thing? Just right in between the bushes there. I don't it's know if it's a tree. In the pain from the tree almost? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, I can see it. Can you I see don't know what that, that, that is. Try to this out more. <laughs> what is that? You can't see it on my camera. It's not moving or anything like that though. Maybe it's, it's like a tree, part of a tree or something, but so it was definitely coming from that direction. Yeah, it definitely felt like it's a bad energy out here. Listen, I think I know why this place is called Hell's, Hell's Gate. Gate now, yeah. yeah. It's definitely got some very strange demonic activity going on. Copying as well. Probably pretending to be a kid. Yeah. It was definitely, I think it was definitely pretending to be a kid with the Ouija board and say, spelling out die, saying die with that, saying go multiple times. But here we are, still here. I don't know if we should be, I don't know, provoking it. Whatever is here, you need to know right now, when we leave, you have to stay here. You cannot come with us. You are not allowed to come with us when we leave. Yeah. I didn't like that. Yeah, I think we should go. Yeah, I'm definitely like starting to... I'm getting a vibe where like... <laughs> <gasps> oh my god, there's a mouse that just, just ran. Oh. Can you see it underneath there? Can you see it? I can see it. There's a mouse that's on that step. Is it chilling there? This is what do I see it? Over here. It's going into the bush now. Okay, we're we're gonna go. I think we've had quite enough activity here tonight um some really creepy stuff i'm interested to go back and look at the footage again to see if there's like any evps or anything that we didn't notice definitely make sure you go over to jade's channel i oh, can't even see you in the dark there <laughs> go over to jade's channel um like i said we did ouija board session on her channel i'll leave the link down below and i'll see you guys later i might not even have a chance to edit oh my god don't say that You're gonna... <laughs> no i know no, no, no. i'll see you guys later <laughs> bye